Hello everyone and welcome to the mid-year edition of our 2022 webinar from Movie. As always, we at Movie bring you some of the hottest and trending topics from the world of streaming and OTT. My name is Aditya and I'm the Corporate Communication Manager at Movie and I'll be your host today. Now before we start, I would like to request the audience to keep posting your questions in the Q&A chat only. We will address them at the end of the session. With this, I would like to take the opportunity to give you a quick overview of Movie. Now, founded in 2011, Movie is headquartered in New York and was founded with a vision to disrupt the global video and audio streaming market. Today, we stand as one of the leading players in the streaming platform service space, while our trust with time has led us to the development of multiple products, with several more in the pipeline. Our key product, Movie One, offers an end-to-end -end solution to launch your own customized, agile, and scalable OTT and streaming-like platforms with zero coding. Now, having spoken about our domain expertise, let's get on with today's webinar. The over-the-top industry or the OTT media revenue is expected to reach over 210 billion US dollars by 2026. That's more than 106 billion generated in 2020. The industry has experienced a massive growth over the years, with revenues growing exponentially from 6.1 billion US dollars in 2010 to over 10 times in that of that amount in 2020. The rapid emergence of newer OTT channels and platforms, along with good content offerings from media houses around the world, has triggered a surge in content consumption. Consuming content has increased manifold after the introduction of smartphones. This further got pushed with the development of internet infrastructure throughout the world, making it available in the remotest of geographies. Thus, it is essential for platform owners to not only host all formats of audio and visual content, but also provide a playlist of similar content stacked together to consume one after another. This eases the user's experience on the platform by ensuring that the time spent on the platform is more fruitful or productive than having watched less and wasting time browsing through a lot of unrelated content. Having a playlist feature on a platform unlocks the gateway of more content consumption and not to forget the user engagement. The playlist feature, uh, the, the playlist feature enables viewers to access suggested content improving their experience and speed of accessing those assets while taking a full advantage of the time spent browsing through the content. Today's guest, Mr. Devabrata Sahu, is an integral part of Movie's product management team. He has taken out time today to come forward with his interesting session on Level Up Your OTT Platform's intuitive experience with Playlist. With over seven plus years of experience in product management and business analysis, Devabrata is a part of Movie's product management division and is responsible for the platform's core architecture, development and stability. His expertise lies with OTT, e-governance and fintech domains and over the years he has catered to many customers to help them achieve their business IT requirements across geographies. After completing his bachelor's degree in computer science, he pursued an MBA in marketing and international business before joining the workforce. With this, I would like to extend a warm welcome to Mr. Devabrata Sahu and pass on the mic to address this virtual gathering. Welcome to today's session Devabrata. Hi everyone, thank you Aditya for giving me this opportunity. It's feeling great to be present among this wonderful group of audiences. I am excited to share what we know about the playlist feature based on our customers' feedbacks and our thought process on its delivery from business to end users uh, from an OTT platform perspective. To start with, I would like to share my personal experience on this regard. When I was a kid, we used to wait uh, for a particular time in a week so that we can listen to the songs radio stations are streaming to the users. Then with the evolution of technology, I have seen the collection of songs we used to keep in CDs and DVDs. Then came the smartphone era. But while having the smartphone as well, we usually didn't have that much of strong internet connection provided in the smartphone. So what we used to do, we used to have memory chips in our smartphone 
where we used to download the songs from the computers insert it in the smartphone so that we will be able to listen to the songs we like whenever it is required but now we are keeping the playlists in our pocket thanks to the evolving internet technology it and ott technology now we do not have to wait for anyone to stream the songs for us so that we can listen or we do not have to download it now we can access my favorite playlist or we can access our favorite playlists from anywhere by clicking few buttons only with the help of the ott platforms in this session i'd like to share our thought process our experiences on what a playlist is different use cases of playlist in multiple business verticals then what it requires for a business organization to deliver the playlists to their end users and i will take you through some of the features that we have built which can help your business to deliver the collection of videos and audios to your end users whenever it is required now starting with playlists the definition is very simple and we all know what a playlist is it is for a for a layman it is only a collection of videos and audios intended to play in a particular order the definition is very simple what it offers the business a collection we must be wondering how a collection of videos and audios would help a business i will take you through the use cases where we can understand that the playlists offer businesses a wide range of use cases for the external facing and internal facing video audio contents for the external facing uh, videos on audios it means the videos and audios mean for the public outside the organization or some dedicated group of people outside the organization and when we say internal facing it means a group of videos or audios which can be uh, helpful for our employees and internal set of people aaj aditya has already said having the playlist helps the organization to aid in more content being used now let us see what are the use case a collection of audios videos uh, 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 can offer to the end users of a business house first is entertainment so majorly when we talk about playlist we think of keeping a collection of audios and videos and listening to them whenever let's say we are relaxing when we are partying when whenever we are traveling so uh, these are some moments in which we used to entertain and for to entertain ourselves we listen to the playlist we also listen to the playlist to relax Uh, to relax and listen to the songs which we like so from the entertainment perspective playlist has two use cases one the business house or the ott uh, application provider have curated the playlist for their end users and they are offering it on their website or mobile application or tv application so that their end users can come on to their platform be engaged by consuming the playlist this generally helps the end user to be engaged 
and for the platform more contents can be consumed when the end users will be engaged in the platform by listening to the playlist so generally whenever we uh, browse the songs uh, in a uh, in an ott platform let it be spotify let it be uh, wink music let it be uh, google music uh, what we do we browse through the songs which which uh, the songs we like we generally add that to a playlist and we listen to them whenever we feel like listening to them so at a high level we have two use cases here one the ott platform owner or uh, or the ott app owner can curate the playlist based on various genres various artists let's say by genres means let's say they will be having a collection of music uh, or a playlist which uh, playlist uh, some of which having the jazz music uh, one playlist can have the pop music one playlist can have classic music like this and by artist means uh, by the performers they can create the playlist by the performers uh, like ed sheeran is uh, uh, his songs the ott provider uh, platform provider can uh, uh, put all the songs or selected songs of ed sheeran and uh, uh, share it in form of a playlist to their end users for them to listen in this use case what happens the end users generally do not have the authority to make any modification to the playlist that means whatever has been curated by the administrator of that website or application or tv app the end users will be listening to them the second use case is the end users on the ott app or the website can select browse the songs select the songs they want to add in a playlist store a playlist in their device and they can listen to it whenever they want in this case the end user have the sole authority of the modification of the playlist so whenever he wants he can add a song to the playlist remove a song from the playlist he can delete the playlist he can unpublish the playlist whatever he wants to do with the playlist and its content the end user can do that so if we would look at spotify youtube music wink music we have these two use cases present over there now apart from entertainment purpose what other use cases a playlist serves next is e learning so we have seen in last two or three years in the pandemic era the consumption of e learning contents have increased exponentially many e learning uh, uh, application providers came into picture and they helped the students or the learners to learn whatever they want to learn through the ott platform through their ott let's say web app tv app or mobile app now while offering the subjects topics courses to the end user the e learning ott app owner can curate the courses or let's say topics in form of a playlist and they can offer it to their end users for a modular learning approach how let me give you an example you can see we have newton's law of motion in physics let's say i am the ott app provider and i have to uh, make my end users understand what newton's law of motion i can do two things either i can put all the three laws under a single video and i can offer it to my end users second approach is i can modularize that which means i will be having the separate content for a given law like 
for the first law of motion i'll be creating content 1 for the second law of motion i'll be creating content 2 for the third law of motion i'll be creating content 3 now i'll be putting all three contents under a playlist which i can name as newton's law of motion and i can offer to the end user so in both of the approaches i offered the same thing to my end users who are learning in my platform how the playlist will help over the first approach like let's say my users are learning their contents they cannot uh, learn there are possibility they may uh, leave seeing the video at a certain point in time so next time when they will come they will have to open uh, open that content open that video then seek the timeline to that place and they have to uh, uh, let's say uh, he has completed first law to start second law he have to seek the timelines so that he can land at uh, at the position from which the second law of motion will start instead of that if we uh, the uh, if i can give them three different videos under a playlist he can have a uh, uh, an opportunity to listen to the first law of motion first then uh, whenever he wants he can directly come on to that playlist and start from the second law of motion instead of uh, opening that uh, video and seeking the uh, time bar and similarly when he wants to learn the third law of motion he can learn it at his convenience only the accessibility of accessing the e learning contents uh the experience can be better if the contents can be provided under a playlist this is just a dummy example for uh, uh making you people understand as and when required the contents mean for the e learning purposes can be divided into various videos put and can be put under a given playlist and can be offered to the end user so this is and a uh, huge case uh, for uh, of our playlist as far as e learning is concerned now moving next let us understand what are the huge cases of playlist for marketing and advertising purpose so mainly the advertising agencies uh, do the marketing and advertising also many organization uh, organizations have their in house team for branding marketing and advertising purposes when whenever uh, uh, we are uh, at a public place or uh, uh, waiting at an uh, airport lo- lounge or at a bus stop we must have seen the digital signage boards uh, uh, present over there and a uh, list of videos are keep on playing in a repeated manner or in a loop right so if we would see at a high level what this ad agencies uh, or the uh, marketing uh, people uh, of any agencies do they just create a list of videos and they share it uh to an uh, advertiser or for themselves uh, to be uh, to display them on a signage board uh, 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 at an airport or at a bus stop or at any public place so at a high level what we are seeing at a uh, airport lounge or uh, on the signage board are nothing but a list list or a collection of videos so that collection of videos also can be uh, 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 delivered by an ott platform through the playlist feature how it can happen the advertiser or the advertising agency can curate the list of contents needs to be displayed uh, at a given location and he can share the output of that video with the person who is responsible for displaying the videos and 
the person will get the output from the ott platform and he can run it in the player which is responsible for displaying the video on a signage board so how this will help them this will help them to control the information those are being shown in the public right so they will have the control if they are curating it for themselves and sharing it so the person who is responsible for displaying the videos will not be curating it for himself let's say but the organization the ad agency for multiple location can uh, can uh, curate the videos from a centralized location and share it across multiple geography which can be displayed on the signage boards or let's say uh, airport lounge or bus stop like that also uh, for marketing and advertising purpose let's say uh, we are visiting a shopping mall or we are visiting a car showroom we are uh, uh, visiting the spa bar restaurants so we always consciously or subconsciously gets exposed to the playlists there how we might have noticed uh, let's say in the mercedes showroom we uh, went there we can see on the lounge a tv is there there uh, and a list of videos are playing uh, uh, in uh, in that tv whenever we are visiting a shopping mall we can listen to the list of songs are being played there so in this multi chain uh, store setup uh, the store owner can curate the playlist uh, for the information or the advertisements that they need their end users to see and their marketing team can curate it and share with the uh, respective stores based on the geography so that the information they want to show they can show to their end users the whole, the sole control will remain with them then one more use case which i would like to uh, share with you people uh, as far as playlist is concerned is training the workforce and help end users so the uh, uh, every organization uh, do the training uh, uh, the trainings for the newly onboarded employees the playlist feature can help the organization to better train the employees how let's say uh, uh, a set of new employees have joined dominos dominos is a pizza delivery house so what dominos can do this is a dummy example so what dominos can do dominos can create multiple videos uh, and put it the related videos under a given playlist and share it to its employees so that they can refer to them whenever it is required or the trainer also can uh, 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 share the videos uh, with the uh, uh, trainees uh, while training uh, 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 with the help of playlist so let's take an example let's say dominos tra- uh, dominos employee needs to understand how to make a pizza they got the training now they want to have a recap of this or they want to review this or they want to refer this at later some point in time so how they can get access to the videos uh, uh, they were trained with so dominos can uh, let's say uh, dominos train them how to make a pizza they can create a playlist named how to make a pizza put contents under them how to prepare dough how to add toppings how to bake and store it uh, uh, and share this playlist with their employees so that they can refer to it at any given point in time when they want now for the same organization dominos for the internal training they made a playlist we understood the use case how it can help on the uh, help with the training similarly uh, let's say dominos wants to help its 
end user to understand the various type of crusts it provides with its pizza now let's say i'm uh, visiting uh, i'm uh, visiting domino's website for the first time and i want to order pizza but i'm not able to understand the difference between this thin crust and this deep dish pizza or what what does it mean by cheese burst if domino's can provide a playlist uh, uh, of uh, uh, this know your pizza or know your pizza crusts on their website and i would be able to browse through that uh, so that i can understand which crust uh, uh, tastes more better i can uh, uh, select that particular co- uh, crust while ordering my pizza so it is it can be this is an use case with which any uh, not only dominos but any organization can put the relevant videos they have prepared uh, uh for helping their end users they can uh, uh, segregate them put under a playlist and they can offer it on their website so that so that their end users can access to them whenever it is required also let us understand the organization where we have a uh, marketing team present uh, and uh, the organization have a uh, uh, let's say large range of uh, product offerings so for each product they must be making a, uh, a decent number of videos for the training purpose for the help purpose or for advertisement purpose so based on the purpose they can segregate the videos product by product they can keep it under a playlist and they can share it with the end users on their website so that whenever the end users will come they will open that playlist and in that playlist all information that an organization wanted to uh, want to share they can get it all at a once they do not have to search search a video then play it then close it then search another video then play it then close it so for a product if uh, uh, let's say uh, i have to understand uh, the features of mercedes ba- mercedes benz uh, of a particular series so for that particular series mercedes can uh, have a playlist and add it to their website so that whenever i will come to their website i will be able to see all the videos of that series are clubbed together and i will get all the information one by one from one playlist itself i do not have to make more searches so it is just to enhance the user experience for accessing the contents or the videos or the audios Uh, uh belonging to a group belonging to a given group so this is how the playlists can help for training the workforce uh in the internal organization this will be the internal facing things and for the end users on their external website which we are calling at the external facing videos or audios now as we have understood various uh, use cases of uh, the playlist how businesses can use them when they can use them for what purpose they can use them now let us understand what exactly it takes for a business entity to uh, deliver its playlist to its end users we have categorized it into two parts one is playlist features these are basically software features uh, belonging to playlist and hardware infrastructure which, which will be supporting the software features meant for the playlist when we say about the software features which uh, a, a required for delivering a playlist from the business house to its end users those are mainly we have listed a few first is managing the audio video assets audio video assets are the building block of a playlist whenever we listen to the playlist we generally listen to either uh, we, we generally either watch video or listen to audio so the video audios are the building blocks of a playlist so the software or the platform should be able to manage this video audio assets for the 
business entity how it should be capable of onboarding the videos and audios in a very easy manner it should be able to organize the videos and audios so that whenever it is required it can be uh, accessible easily then uh, uh, then whenever any update or any deletion activity is required then the platform should also allow to uh, remove or update those video audio assets if unpublish is required then the platform should also be able to unpublish those videos and audios from uh, from the end users so these are certain features uh, uh, a platform should be capable of when we say manage audio video assets for a playlist then manage playlist and the media assets with the net so after having the video and audio assets the need for them will be to create a playlist then after creating the playlist manage the media assets which were uploaded earlier under it then the user should be also should be able to update the playlist easily whenever it is required update means if the uh, if the user want to add few more things or few more uh, videos or audios to their playlist they should be able to add it very easily if they want to delete a playlist they should be able to delete it easily now let's say we we have added the assets and the playlist the next thing is how the system how the software will deliver the playlist to the end user so end users when we talk about end users they access a playlist from multiple sources here by sources i mean website mobile devices tv devices or a signage board so a software platform should be capable of delivering the playlists and its associated audio video contents to the web mobile tv devices and signage boards or the holding very efficiently and easily next allow multiple share methods so let's say many business entities uh, i i would like to share two use cases here number one let's say uh, there is a business entity who uh, doesn't have anything but want to have a playlist feature and second use case is let's say there is a business entity who have the front end but he doesn't have the capability of adding those playlist to uh, on its front end so the scenarios can be both so for scenario 1 let's say uh, 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 the business entity wants to have the uh, software features as well as the front end interface connected to it so what happens in that the front end and the uh, back end system are coupled closely with each other they are interacting with each other because they belong to the same ecosystem in this way the back end system which hosts or holds the playlist can share it to the end users with the help of user interface very easily because the user interface is connected to it. but there will be certain scenarios the scenario 2 where a business entity uh, might not have a back end system which can support the uh, uh, hosting of playlist for them so what they need to do as they already have a front end which is facing to their external uh, end users they can simply have a back end system ready or the softwares ready and share the playlist they are hosting in that back end system with the help of apis embed code or hlsp these are some technical ways uh, which bridges or connects the back end with the front end so whenever we are talking about a software the software should have the apis ready should be capable of generating embed code and hls feed so that whenever playlists are required to be shared with let's say your own website on the front end or with any third party 
uh, website with which uh, the business entity uh, is tied up with it would help them to share the playlist seamlessly easily with the third party so these are two huge cases uh, in the number two huge cases where the business entity uh, wants to share the playlist uh, uh, with uh, 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 to the third parties or to their uh, or to embed uh, the playlist on their uh, own front end they can have the feature in that platform then next is encoding assets for seamless streaming in low and high net space encoding helps to have adaptive bitrate enabled for a web application or mobile application what is this uh, what is this adaptive uh, bitrate technology and uh, how encoding supports it let me uh, tell you quickly let's say we have a 1 gb file which is added to a playlist now an user is trying to stream this 1 gb file with a low speed internet connection scenario 1 now we have a 1 gb internet file and an user is having high speed internet connection and he is trying to access this 1 gb file which is present in the playlist in form of a video what will happen then the user who is having the high speed internet will be able to stream that 1 gb file seamlessly but the but the user who is having a low network speed may experience some buffer or slow loading because its internet speed is low the uh, the loading will be low and he might uh, 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 encounter unpleasant experiences while uh, watching a video in his playlist then how this adaptive bitrate technology helps to give a seamless watching experience to the users who have high speed internet connection as well as low speed internet connection what encod encoding does is whenever a high resolution file is being uploaded to the uh, system encoding helps to replicate that file into multiple role lower resolution so the adaptive bitrate technology helps whenever the end users are on high speed internet connection the system renders the high quality file or high resolution file but when he moves to a low network speed connection then the render happens from the lower version of that file let's say the higher version is hd version and the lower version is standard version so whenever system will identify there is a low network uh, uh, speed then it will stream from the standard definition version instead of the high definition version when the user will move from the low network strength to high network strength then the high definition video will be rendered instead of this uh, uh, low resolution video so the system will adjust it automatically the end users will experience less buffer time and the user experience overall user experience for streaming a playlist or streaming a video or audio under the playlist can be optimized so a software platform should have this capability so that based on the user's network speed the contents those are being played under a playlist can be adjusted for a better viewing experience now last but not the least ai engine to recommend playlist based on the user's behavior uh if you have uh, used spotify or youtube music you have seen they are offering some auto generated playlists or ai recommended playlists based on your listening pattern and preferences so this is a very advanced use case if a ott app provider or streaming uh, ott app provider wants its end users 
uh, uh, to have some recommended playlist based on their preferences which will be recommended by the system itself then the software should also be able to leverage the artificial intelligence or the ai capabilities to create the playlists for the users based on their listening pattern based on their listening experiences then apart from software to deliver a playlist to the end user the business entity would also need the hardware infrastructure like server database software internet service uh, providers etc so the hardware and the software holistically will be delivering the playlists to their end users for a business entity now having known the requirements for an business entity to uh, create to have uh, to create their own playlist for uh, offering to their end users now let us understand what are the options present in front of them for having these capabilities for their business number 1 is create everything in house from scratch from scratch may be misleading uh, uh, this is partially true i would uh, uh, admit i should admit because uh, let's a few uh, uh, organization or business entities would be there who must be have uh, having their own front end or application they just need a back end support so that a play, the playlist can be supported on top of it and those playlists can be uh, shared to to the existing website or the application they are having if they have the front end capabilities they need to build the back end capabilities for delivering the playlist feature uh, uh, for themselves in house and if they do not have anything they can build it from their uh, from from scratch this is number one approach or number two approach this is a very quick and easy and uh, uh, safe approach or risk free approach in which they can be associated with a platform who helps who who can help them hosting their play, playlist on it and deliver their playlist to their end users with the web mobile and tv application so we have two approaches at movie we are offering being an ott platform we are offering out of the box playlist features for the business entities who need playlist features for their end users in our platform so we have built the playlist feature in our platform which is available at absolutely free of cost for trial purposes with which users can create their playlist manage their playlist manage their audio video assets and they can deliver it seamlessly to their end users with the help of encoding cdn drm whatever technology uh, advanced technology is required to deliver the video audio uh, streamable contents seamlessly safely to the end users we we uh, we are offering those capabilities in our platform so we are such we are uh, in category 2 in which the business entity uh, who would like to have uh, a playlist feature for their business can take a free trial and they can explore the uh, capabilities we are offering to them to deliver the playlist to their end users either for advertising purpose either for training purpose either for e learning purpose either for ott entertainment purpose etc now let me take you through a quick demonstration of the playlist feature how from where you can access uh, this feature what you have to do and uh, uh, how you can uh, explore the of, uh, things which are offering uh, in our platform
so this is uh, the landing page of movie.com here in the all product section you can see we have two products uh, movie one and movie plex do we have many products uh, 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 we are offering for uh, streaming purposes but as far as this playlist feature is concerned we are offering it uh, out of the box uh, with movie one and movie flex and also we have an ai engine alley which can be used for the auto recommendation of playlists now what is the difference between movie one and movie flex uh, let's say you do not have any uh, uh, any setup uh, to host your playlist you need a back end as well as you need a front end in the front end you need the capabilities of web mobile apps and tv apps then movie one offers an end to end solution to host your playlist uh, uh, and uh, from hosting your playlist till delivering it to your end users and uh, uh, getting the analytics of how your playlists are performing uh, uh, in the public so movie one comes with a front end attached to with it uh, 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 the front, by front end uh, mean i mean web mobile app android and ios and tv apps like roku lg tv app uh, uh, apple tv app etc and movieplex movieplex uh, is a back end solution for hosting your playlists let's say you have your own front end and applications you just need the capability of a back end for hosting your contents managing your playlist and Uh, sharing it to the uh, and offering it to uh, your end users with the existing website mobile app or tv app you are having then you do not need a front end application because you already have it you just need a back end application so for that movie flex can be uh, uh, can be chosen uh, so these are two products with which we are providing uh, our playlist feature both are absolutely free uh, without any cost uh, anyone can uh, take a free trial uh, from www.movie.com and explore the capabilities of movieplex and movie one from the platform now let me uh, show you how the cms of uh, movie one looks like this is movie one product whenever uh, you will take a free trial and land on uh, the content management system we offer you can uh, see this home page you you will be landing on this page here you can see we are offering thousands of feature in our platform but specifically for the playlist you need to understand the features of content management here the content library we have will be used for onboarding the video audio assets which will be used for the playlist so this content management library allows you to onboard your videos audios to organize your uh, videos and audios and make modification to them as and when it is required to add an audio or a video you ha just have to click add content and here you can add video audio live stream physical contents whatever you want to add then you should fill the metadata like uh, what would be the content name or video name what will be its category release date you can keep all the information meta information of that video or audio with this content form and store it in the content library okay once you have uploaded or onboarded your audios and videos that will be required for uh, for your playlist you can go to the manage playlist section in the manage playlist section uh, you you can see the already existing section because i already had created uh, these for the demo purpose to create a new playlist you can create uh, you can click on create new playlist it will ask you very few options you can see what would be the content title let's say i would say demo playlist then i would be uh, selecting a category so that this playlist can be uh, uh, shown to the end users under a given menu and after that i can upload the posters for mobile app web app and posters for the tv app 
सो पोस्टर्स पर मोबाइल ऐप टी वी ऐप एंड वेब ऐप जनरली हैव डिफरेंट साइजेस एंड रेजोल्यूशन सो वी आर अलाउविंग द यूजर्स टू एड डिफरेंट डिफरेंट पोस्टर्स फॉर वेब मोबाइल ऐप एंड टी वी ऐप सो दैट वेन एवर दे आर एंड यूजर्स विल बी एक्सेसिंग द प्ले लिस्ट द बैनर और द पोस्टर मीन फॉर देम विल बी शोन अकॉर्डिंगली देन आई जस्ट नीड टू सेव द प्ले लिस्ट नाउ दिस इज ए वीडियो ऑडियो प्ले लिस्ट यू कैन सी द प्ले लिस्ट इज एडेड नाउ टू एड सॉन्ग्स टू इट वी हैव टू गो टू कॉन्टेंट लाइब्रेरी लेट से लेट मी सर्च हम ऑडियो कॉन्टेंट फ्रॉम हेयर बिकॉज आई क्रिएटेड एन ऑडियो प्ले लिस्ट नाउ यू कैन सी वी हैव मल्टीपल ऑडियो कॉन्टेंट्स एडेड टू दिस स्टोर अर्लियर I need to add, let's say, my voice. This name, my voice, or despacito. Uh, this audio content, despacito, to my playlist. Here you can see the existing set of playlist and this demo playlist I have added recently. I can click on any of the playlist. So uh, after which the song will be mapped to it. I'm selecting demo playlist. Now you can see the song is mapped to here. to check it we can visit to the manage playlist section you can see one track is added to here similarly you can create audio playlist and video playlists in movie one platform so in this video playlist you can see we have let's say best movies five videos and we have five uh, five videos under it this can be ordered also you you just have to drag and drop and set the ordering in which the videos will be played in front of your end users so these are certain uh, uh, capabilities which we are offering uh, uh, from the cms in the front end side if we would look this is the movie front end i already had created a playlist earlier best songs of 2018 it will be appearing like this this is on our default theme this can be customized as per uh, the look and feel of this page can be customized uh, with our uh, byod bring your own design uh, feature uh, uh, there are two scenarios the look and feel can be uh, uh, managed or changed the way you want if you already have an uh, in house development team they can leverage the power of our cms to change the look and feel as they want as per their needs without in taking any help from us number 1 or we also can help to customize these pages uh, for our customers uh, if they want us to customize it for them based on their look and feel preferences now users can come here they can see the poster and they can play the song this is the audio player which we have when we will be clicking on a song it will be playing then user can uh, uh, go to the next song and they can traverse through the songs they can also shuffle the songs then they can also set the song uh, add the song uh, which is playing to their favorite list they can share the song while listening to it or he can add more songs to the queue this is the queue feature which we have for the playlist or in our player where uh, the user can see the list of songs that is present in the playlist he also can browse the store while listening to the playlist and add more songs to this uh, already existing uh, list of songs in the queue which is coming from the playlist and ultimately he will also be able to save this playlist uh, for him to listen it later so this is our movie platform which offers the end to end capabilities from the cms capabilities to the front end capabilities to our customers and whatever we have learned so far or delivering so far uh, we are thankful to our customers based on their feedback we are able to uh, deliver this uh, feature and our customers are delivering the playlists and uh, uh the uh, audios and videos uh, under it to the millions of end users they have across the globe then also i would like to uh, uh so uh, one more platform which we have movieplex 
uh, which I said, uh, uh, which I said uh, uh, that it also has the uh, capability of hosting a playlist. L let me take you through that to understand that. To access MovieFlex, uh, you just need to click on the MovieFlex product and here i already have a logged in account so i am back to admin or else here it will show you an option to uh, get a free trial so after having the free trial uh, you will be able to land in the movieplex cms you can see this is having very less number of features in comparison to what we have in movie one here in the the process of making a playlist it's very much similar to what we have in movie one just one additional feature we are offering uh, in movie flexes in the playlist library we are giving an option for the users to get generate the hls stream with this hls stream uh, what they can do they can create a playlist generate an hls stream get this hls stream and play this in a third party player see i'm using this open source vlc media player and in this video uh, vlc media player it supports the hls feeds it help it will help the business entity to generate the hls feed have this uh, vlc uh, media player or any third party player installed on their tv apps or uh, uh, on their smart tv apps which they have on their let's say uh, uh, waiting lounge or uh, on the uh, airports or uh, on the uh, uh, bus stop wherever they have smart tv they can simply install the uh, uh, third party players which supports the hls feed enter that feed and they can start playing them in a loop so you can see uh, we have added multiple videos uh, to this uh, HLS feed and this third party video player is actually playing this playlist from the MovieFlex uh, uh, product that we have. So we just have a backend, uh, uh, backend here. The front end capabilities uh, can be achieved uh, by integrating the APIs we offer with the playlist feature in MovieFlex, we have the uh, HLS uh, feed feature from which a feed can be generated for a playlist and it can be played in any third party player on the front end. So, MovieFlex is just a back end. If uh, anyone wants to uh, already have a front end uh, ready with them, it, it may be Wave or mobile app or a TV app, they can simply explore this by taking a free trial, connect with, connect it with their TV apps, mobile apps and web apps uh, with the uh, APIs we are offering with this product. So this is how uh, we are uh, offering the playlist feature for the various business needs, various, uh, uh, for various uh, business scenarios from our platform. So I'd like to request you to visit www.movie.com and explore our playlist feature with Movie One and MoviePlex by taking a free trial period and to share your experience and feedback with us so that it will help us to uh, improve our feature and provide a better uh, playlist streaming access uh, streaming experience to our customers as well as to their end users with this uh, i'd like to thank uh, you all for having me uh, here and listening to me uh, thank you everyone now i'm uh, handing over this uh, uh, handing over mic to aditya thank you thank you once again everyone thank you so much deva uh, for the detailed uh, demo and uh, taking us through uh, the ppt uh, now before we move on to the q and a session i would request the audience to take a minute to answer a quick poll uh, which is now coming onto your screens 
uh if you can't see the poll uh, you can click at the poll icon at the bottom of your screen uh so mr devrata while the audience is answering the poll uh, you were mentioning about the radio uh, you know when we used to look out uh, for report to our favorite radio stations to listen to our favorite songs uh, you know this reminds me of uh, a time when you know streaming was not uh, such uh, such a popular medium for entertainment uh, we used to have a vhs tapes and uh, we used to create this mix tapes of audio and uh, you know videos uh, together uh, so can you can we say that playlist is the modern way or the modern digital mixtape yes aditya absolutely i mean uh, you can see how far we have come how the revolution have taken place in uh, let's say in last 3 decades uh, from listening to radio to cds dvds to microchips we used to have on the smartphone to uh, access the collection of songs we uh, want to listen till the uh, to the ott industry which is now uh, helping uh, the end users to keep the playlists in their pocket and it is allowing them to access the playlist whenever they need it uh, uh, means it is irrespective of place and time they can uh, their playlists are just a few buttons away absolutely absolutely as a audio file myself i am too guilty of creating such mixtapes during my time <laughs> so now back to the audience uh, i hope you all have answered our poll uh, i would now like to open the forum for discussion uh, please send in your queries in the q and a chat only uh so mr devrata for the first question uh, the question is what is the difference between the playlist feature and having the content under the parent folder as a child content very good question aditya thank you for asking this i was expecting someone to ask this question uh actually in our platform at uh, uh, at movie we offer uh at a very high level i would say two features through which uh, a a playlist can be created uh, in the content library we are providing uh, multi part content whenever uh, somebody will take the free trial they can see we have a content form named multi part content what right. is essentially means it means uh, it the user can create a group of content and a uh, group and deliver it to the end users uh, the playlists can be created with this feature you are correct the playlist can be created with this feature also we have a dedicated playlist feature the difference between both is the dedicated playlist feature helps the front end to understand to render a given specific design which is dedicated for uh, the playlist listening or watching experience while with the help of this multi part uh, content or content under content which we are saying we can create the playlist it will solve the business case but the idea behind creating uh, this multi part or this uh, hierarchical level of content is not to solve the playlist use case not only to solve the playlist use case but also to solve the cases where the hierarchy of contents is more than two if you would look at the playlist we have two level hierarchy one is the playlist itself as a parent and the list of videos and audios under it so right. this can be achieved through this uh, parent child relationship in uh, which we are allowing while creating a content but it also it can help the user to create the tv series or uh, sorry tv shows or web series we are calling it let's say somebody wants to create game of thrones web series so he he should not uh, uh, look forward to the playlist feature instead he should be using this uh, multi part uh, multi part content feature where we are allowing users to create content map them under a certain hierarchy and render it to their end user like the tv shows nowadays are having seasons within it no so the playlist have two level hierarchy parent and child but when we look at the tv series they might contain three level of contents like 
the show itself let's say game of thrones the uh-huh. seasons under the show like from season 1 to season 8 and under each season there are uh, list of episodes uh, some some has 10 episodes some has 12 episodes like that so uh, aditya to answer your question to summarize playlist can also be created with this content hierarchy feature which uh, offer through multi part content uh-huh. but its usability of this feature is more than creating the playlist that's what sure. uh, i would like to say sure the next question is if i want to start a stream with mid profile rather than the lowest profile in the ott environment what in a playlist is required so that players can stream start the stream from mid profile i am not really okay. sure what uh, the user meant okay, by okay uh, i understand uh, if i understood your question correctly uh, aditya you uh, want to understand whether let's say you are listening to a playlist which has 10 videos or audios under it and you uh, stopped listening after listening to four songs now you would like to understand whether uh, next time when you will come the song will start from the fifth song onwards or it will be starting from the first song onwards right i think uh, what the you, uh, audience uh, here meant was uh, the speed or the uh, the resolution as well at which uh, or the uh, you know the the quality at which the uh, okay, uh, okay. asset is being played okay so uh, the speed and the quality of assets uh, can uh, see we are offer uh, whenever an user will start playing the playlist the speed of the player for playing the song will be of default he might change it to 1x or 2x later so user can change it as per their con- uh, convenience the player itself will never change the speed of uh, uh, the playing uh, 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 itself can uh, will not change the speed of playing number 1 as far as the resolutions are concerned the player will auto adjust the resolution based on the network speed so the okay. user can select a default resolution in which he wants to uh, view the contents apart from that system can auto adjust it also if that is set in the auto mode so uh, basically the good idea if uh, uh, somebody is traveling would be to set the player in the auto mode so that system itself will adjust to the network speed and the resolutions needed to be rendered itself but if somebody is uh, 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 present at, at a high speed internet uh, uh, location there they can choose uh, the definition uh, with which they want to watch all videos given in the playlist that also is possible right uh, the next question is uh, if you want if an if a business entity wants to embed playlist on the website does it uh, support registration or authentication for playback now out of the box we are not supporting it but it can be supported with customization so far we didn't have this huge case as we understood this huge case if somebody has the requirement for the mm-hmm. registration or authentication whenever they will be embedding their playlist uh, on any third party website or on their own website then authentication uh, this registration and authentication system is technically feasible and uh, we can achieve it sure uh the next uh, it's more of a comment than a question uh it is the, the audience says that advanced player paused playlist to not work properly uh it would only play back the first video in the series uh can this uh, you know issue be fixed yes uh, sure But first of all i would uh, like to apologize for the inconvenience uh, that has been caused by this advanced player uh there might be uh, uh, some bug or something else which is uh, 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 actually not allowing the user to have the experience uh, which we are offering uh, we will be uh, fixing it i would like to request if uh, uh, he is one of our 
valuable customer or a lead uh, he may uh, share a support ticket uh, with us or he can uh, inform this to our support team our support team is available 24 and uh, 7 they can share their concern with them and we will definitely be very happy and we will be fixing this so that uh, his end users or he himself can get the best experience out of our feature which we are providing with our advanced player uh, so the next question comes from our social media handle is this a free or a paid feature this is an absolutely free feature which we offer uh, whenever any user who would like to explore this would uh, take a free trial he do not have to pay anything else he can uh, write, he can uh, start exploring this uh, uh, this playlist feature and our offerings uh, uh, directly after taking the free trial and for the free trial also we do not take any card information or we do not charge our customers so from that perspective, I, I must say it is absolutely free. And if, uh, uh, let's say, uh, uh, any of our lead uh, will be subscribing with us uh, for the playlist. So this playlist feature comes with the subscription. No separate charges uh, needed to be paid for uh, using this playlist feature. So this is something which we offer out of the box under free trial and also our paid uh, version of our application. Sure. Uh, the next question is, uh, can we start an online radio station? Uh, yeah. Yes, uh, online radio station is a very interesting use case. Uh, see, there is a grey line difference uh, here. When we talk about radio station, actually those are uh, pre-scheduled, right? So when we yeah. generally yeah. talk about radio station, the songs or whatever you, we are listening, those were pre-scheduled. But here the uh, when we talk about playlist it is something which we can access as in when it is required right we have the control which songs to listen when to listen but when we talk about the radio station we are always uh, exposed to listen to whatever that radio station is streaming to us we cannot change anything into that so radio station can be created uh, uh, in our platform, but if this EPG or uh, uh, let's say uh, scheduling the videos or audios is required, then we also have another feature called playout. So playlist play product, yeah. yes, playout product uh, in, uh, with which uh, our customers or leads can schedule their contents and they can share the contents to their end users like a radio station so play playlist would not be very appropriate if i would say uh, can solve the use case of a radio station so for specific use case of radio station we already have a dedicated feature called play out which can be explored uh, by them sure uh, the next question is, uh, what analytics features can be attributed to the playlist functionality? Two things. Uh, uh, whenever we talk about analytics, uh, it, it helps uh, generally, on, uh, it helps the business entities uh, as their decision support system. So as part of analytics, we can provide the streaming analytics in our platform apart from that uh, we can also give the information uh, like which are the mostly streamed playlist across all the geography or segmented by the geographies which right. are which genres are being loved most by the user let's say they are using to the jazz more or pop more or classic more or there may be many more genres uh, of songs uh, uh, so these uh, kind of analytics like which genres are being uh, uh, loved by our users the most can also be uh, 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 get uh, can also be found from the analytics then which artists let's say which artists are being heard the most whether it is Shakira or whether it is Ed Sheeran or whether it is Beyonce or whether it is Jazzy V. 
so to which singer our users are listening to the most so all these uh, things can be analytics we can uh, uh, get from the uh, uh, movie cms we right. have some in terms of content if uh, if there is uh, any other need any specific customized business need as i said these analytics are own more majorly used as a decision support system for the business out so whatever uh, analytical data they need uh, to support their uh, business decision or we can uh, configure them or customize our system to produce those reports and help the business entity in their decision making right right uh okay so the next very interesting question uh, from one of the audience what is the difference in creating a playlist and using ali yes whenever we are uh, uh saying creating a playlist the playlist is basically created by the users so i'd like to highlight three major type of users for creation of playlist number one is the store admin let's say you are the owner of spotify and you are offering some curated playlist to your end users to listen so in this case the store admin is creating the playlist number 2 is the end users let's say end users are uh, coming to spotify they are selecting some songs and they are creating the playlist for themselves storing it and they are listening to it so end users also can create the playlist third playlist a third creator can be the system itself no the system can auto create and recommend few playlist to uh, to the end users uh, based on their listening preferences like the genres which they are listening the most the uh, artists they are listening to the most so based on their listening preferences uh the uh, system can auto recommend the playlist ali comes under number 3 so when we can say system system should have some ai capabilities no artificial intelligence capability so that it can recommend uh, uh, it can create the playlist for the users based on their listening pattern no right. so ali right. comes and uh, comes in category 3 so we can consider ali as the creator of the playlist Here. so instead of it is a normal human being it is a machine who is uh, cre- creating a playlist for the end users this is the only difference between a creator and ali ali is a system and if, if we say creator we generally refer to the human beings right absolutely uh, the next question is can subtitles be added uh, in the playlist if so if uh, is it in any definitive format like web tt or ttms uh see there is no need to add subtitles to the playlist we offer a capability uh, in our video library uh, in which uh, users can add a subtitle to the video multiple subtitle uh, sorry i should say multiple subtitles for a video in multiple based languages based on language Le- based on language yes yeah. based on uh, languages let me uh, give an example for an example there is a video a so that video a need to be streamed uh in usa in africa and in india let's say uh for usa the end users will see the video in english subtitle in africa they will be seeing seeing the video in uh, native in in, Af- their, in their native language and let's say in india they need to uh, see the subtitles in hindi so three languages uh, subtitles uh, with three languages can be uploaded in the video library whenever the end users will be streaming that video no the mm-hmm. subtitles added to that video will appear automatically so there is no need of adding uh, add, uh, separate subtitles to a playlist this is something which will come with the video itself which is attached to a playlist and users can upload the subtitles to their videos in their preferred languages in our platform i hope this answers your question absolutely uh so the last uh, questions uh, few questions can we create a playlist of playlist for example 
uh, hits of uh, 2000s uh, will uh, will it include a 10 years of best hits starting from 2001 to 2010 so yeah y- yes you can create the end result will be a playlist only <laughs> so logically it, you have created a playlist of playlist but the end result you will get is a playlist only which will list down all the songs belonging to all the playlist you have selected and it can be done through our queue feature uh, in the playlist queue feature no let's say you are listening to playlist 1 then you are listening to uh, you have added playlist 2 to your queue so let's say playlist 1 had 10 songs and playlist 2 had 5 uh, uh, songs then your queue will show 15 songs now this is a playlist of playlists no you can save that yeah. and uh, uh, give it to give it a name and store it as a playlist your playlist will contain 15 songs which technically and logically nothing but playlists of playlists got it so this is how we can achieve this right i hope this address your question right right So this brings us to the end of the Q&A session. Uh, we appreciate you for taking out time today to attend the session. And as a small token of a small token of appreciation, we would like to give out an informative brochure for you to view later. The link of the handout is now on your screen. In case you can't find the link, please check out the chat section. Uh, it's uh, the link is there on the chat section. Right. So this brings us to the end of today's session. Our upcoming webinar, "Level Up Your Engagement Strategy with Live Stream Chat," is scheduled for 22nd of June 2022 and will be presented by Rahul Rawat, Product Manager, Movie. Now please keep a lookout for our social media channels or visit our website www.movie.com for the registration link for this webinar. I would like to thank you once again for giving us the opportunity to bring us of more of such informative and value-adding webinars. This is your host Aditya signing off. Until next time. Thank you, Devo Bada, for taking your time and uh, giving us this informative webinar. Thank you, Aditya and team. Thank you, everyone. Have a great time. Ahead.